Uh, well, I came out yesterday. I think I had uh, I recovered really well from the track events, and I felt really optimistic um, starting the race. Yeah, I felt I had great legs, and um, really got focused right away. Found I had a good rhythm, and uh, yeah, I had a, a flat tire just before the halfway point, so that was definitely a little bit of a setback. I mean, obviously, you know, time to get the wheel change, and then just trying to regain my focus for the rest of the ride. So, you know, it, it's unfortunate, and of course, I'm I'm disappointed. But I mean, as an athlete, all I can hope is to bring my best on the day and, and I did that so I have to be proud of my performance. And um, no one got to see the wheel change except you and the team. Uh, was it a smooth change, a lot of nerves or? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's never ideal in a time trial because, you know, you have to get off the bike, um, have to wait for the fall of the car for someone to jump out and run up to you. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, Dan Peters is a great mechanic and he did the best he could in that situation. So, yeah, I have to be, have to be happy with, you know, having that support stuff there. And what did you think of the men's race? Were you around? Were you able to, uh, to catch the results? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously super, super proud of the men's team. Um, you know, I think Hugo, uh, we knew that he was very capable of a gold medal performance, but he still went out there and put it all together on the day. Um, and then for Sean coming off, you know, the men's team pursuit on the track, uh, he was maybe a little bit of an underdog, but it was, uh, you know, great for him to seize that opportunity and show what he's capable of in the future. And he doesn't actually do that many time trials that year, so the, the track experience would be useful for his position on the bike. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think that's one of the goals of the men's endurance track program is to develop younger riders um, and to encourage younger riders to become involved in the track kind of as a transition into, uh, you know, a road career. I think that's what Sean's hoping for and again, he showed that, you know, it's, it's possible to have that success on the track and still develop as a road rider as well. So. That's a good segue into, you're about to become a road rider too. Um, tell me about the, the race, the course, what you think the chances are for the team on Sunday, or Saturday. Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't actually gotten the chance to ride the course yet. I think the roads will be uh, closed tomorrow, so that'll be our first opportunity to actually see what we're dealing with. Um, but having seen uh, the course map, I think it's going to be a quite technical course. Um, and for the women, I anticipate that it will be quite strategic. Uh, they, I know the Cubans have a strong team. I think they had at least two riders on the podium four years ago at the Pan Am Games, so they'll be the ones to watch. Uh, but I'm, I'm also quite optimistic with the team we have. I think we're very opportunistic riders, and I think we'll uh, take advantage of all situations to hunt down that gold medal. Excellent. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you.